Let's say one day you get into a terrible accident and become blind. How can you read now? You feel the text, but not the way you feel a good romance book. You literally feel it with your fingers. So how does that work? The visually impaired use a writing system called Braille. Grade 1 Braille is just a one-to-one -one representation of the alphabet and some characters. So let's learn it. This is a Braille cell. It's a 3x2 grid of dots that can be raised or not raised, which gives us 64 possible combinations. The dots are numbered 1 through 6, going from top to bottom in both columns. Every letter and character is represented by a unique cell. For the alphabet, you really only have to learn the first 10 letters though, as the rest is just a variation of those. Except for W. Screw that letter, because the kid who invented Braille was French, and they don't use that there, so it's just kind of a random character that doesn't fit in, just like you. For the first 10 letters, you only need the top two rows. Luckily, they follow a nice pattern that you can easily remember. That was a lie, it's kind of a mess. For A, you raise the first one. B and C are the lines on the left and top respectively. E and I are just the diagonals, and the rest, which is D, F, H, and J, are the corners. Oh yeah, and G is just all of them. These 10 also represent the numbers, which is easier to remember. 1, 2, and 3 use the smallest number of points, the even numbers 4, 6, 8, and 0 are the corners, and the odd numbers 5 and 9 are the diagonals. 7, which is in the middle, is just the combination of 5 and 9. For the next 10 letters, K to T, you add the third row and raise the bottom left dot, and for U to Z, you raise the whole bottom row. And W is just a J or 0 with the 6 raised. This means the next characters are numbers. Want to go back to letters? Use this. Make it capital, slap this in front. Add punctuation, choose your favorite, and yeah, now you can read braille. Or at least the basics, because grade 2 uses more symbols and turns the English language into a bunch of abbreviations. But that takes a while to learn and is confusing, so just stick with grade 1 for now and you should be fine.